Well, good morning, friends. Good morning if you are watching this in real time. I have a lot of people who've been requesting my updated skincare routine, and there's nothing all that different, a couple new products. So I thought I would pull all of my skincare out of the bathroom because the lighting is terrible and the sound is terrible. We sit down at the kitchen table together and I can do my morning skincare. So before we get into the actual skincare, let me just fill you in a little bit about me and my skin. So hi, my name is Marnie. If you're new here, I am 49 and a half-ish years old. I will be 50 in March. I have dry skin. I have sensitive skin. I have reactive skin. As far as what I have had done to my face, I currently am pretty fresh on the Botox from here up. I have had other things done in the past, like I've had lip filler a couple of times, but it's been years, so all that is gone, clearly. Otherwise, I really needed to get a refund on that. I do have melasma, and I went through a series of three laser treatments to remove that. It's better. Even though I stay out of the sun, just being in the heat can bring the melasma back. And if you aren't aware, I live in San Antonio, Texas. We've had a little bit of heat for the last few months. So I do plan before the end of the year to go back and do at least one more session. And if you're interested in seeing how that went, I do have a video I'll link above and below. It's called the Lace MD Laser, and it's specifically designed for melasma, which is pretty cool. But that's just, that's what's going on up here. Normally in the mornings, I take my Colleen Rothschild muslin washcloth, just wet it, no soap, and just kind of do a quick little, I wouldn't say a scrub, but a quick little surface cleanse with no soap or anything just to remove any sweat, any residual oils from the skincare the previous night. And then we jump into the skincare. I rotate through a lot of things. So this is what's current. I will list below some of the alternatives that I cycle through. This is just what I'm reaching for right now as we're filming this video. So first things first, and I do use this morning and night, I've decanted this into an airless pump only because the actual container does not fit in my medicine cabinet, but this is the Colleen Rothschild Micro Mineral Soothing Toner. I just do a little squirt in my hands. I use it more like an essence than a toner. This really just makes my skin more receptive to all the different acids and chemical exfoliants and stuff like that. It's been really great when I started introducing Retin-A or Tretinoin into my evening routine. I didn't have any of the normal reactions with the dryness or flaky skin or itchiness, redness, none of that. And I really attribute it to this. I will say this video is not sponsored. You're going to see a lot of the same stuff from the same brands because when I find something that works, I stay with it and I am loyal. And I do have a discount code for all the Colleen Rothschild products, 20% off. I'll put that in the description box. Okay, so next, I use the SkinCeuticals Flo-Retin CF. This is a vitamin C serum. It's an antioxidant. It really works well with, in this case, discoloration. So you take four to five drops. You do not rub it between your hands. The actual vitamin C molecules, I attended a training class on this, are quite delicate, and the rubbing can, I don't know, make them less effective. This is like liquid gold. This is incredibly expensive. I wish I had a discount code for all of us, including myself. Occasionally, there will be a 15% off sale at skin store or derm store. When that happens, I usually make that public over on my Instagram stories if you wanna follow me there. Speaking of Instagram stories, I'm going to announce a giveaway here that affects Instagram. I would love it if y'all would join me over on Instagram as well as here, just because it's easier to communicate with you there. I can share things with you right up to the minute on stories. I love getting into the DMs, going back and forth in conversation. I feel like I've really gotten to know a lot of you there. And so I would really like to see some of you who are here who maybe aren't over there join me. So here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna do a giveaway and it is going to be a $500 gift card to the e-commerce retailer of your choice. So I can just email it to you, help you get maybe ahead on some holiday shopping. All you need to do to enter is to follow me on Instagram and like every single one of my Instagram posts in my feed that have gone up for the month of October. And I will announce during the first week of November over on Instagram who that winner is and I will contact you by DM. So I would love to see you over there and I have the 
link up there and down in the description box if you wanna enter. All you have to do to start is to follow me on Instagram. Alrighty, back to the vitamin C serum. So SkinCeuticals is kind of known for, if it's one product, it's their vitamin C serums. They have three. The classic is the CE Ferulic. It's good for all skin types. The Silly Marin, that's more for oily skin. And the Floretin CF is formulated more for dry skin and specifically to deal with hyperpigmentation. So that's why I've switched over to this one. This next product is very new to me. It was sent to me in PR and it is a budget buster. Now, unfortunately, it's also really effective. Um, this is from La Mer, it's the Concentrate. And you put this on after your vitamin C serum. They sent me a very big bottle. I hate that I love this. And I just take the tiniest amount off of one side of the little spatula, put it between my fingers, dot it around my face. What I have noticed in the week or so that I started using it is my skin appears more even in tone. There have been a lot of dry flakes around my nose and mouth, especially since I've been dealing with a runny nose and allergies. That seems to have disappeared. There's just something intangible yet better about my face. I use it in the morning and I use it in the evening and I hate that it is so expensive because now they have me hooked. By no means am I suggesting that you need to run out and buy this. This is what I am using right now. Next is a brand new product. I'm very excited about. It is from Colleen Rothschild. It is on her website where I believe at this point all you can do is sign up to be alerted when it goes live for sale. It is her Hyaluronic Serum. And the reason I'm so excited about it is because I had been using a Hyaluronic Serum from SkinCeuticals that is quite pricey. And while effective, I don't love the delivery system. It's a pipette. It's a really thick fluid. It's hard to get it out. It's a little, it can be a little bit messy. This is a much easier delivery system. And anything I can get from Colleen Rothschild's family of products makes me happy because my skin has never had a bad reaction to anything that she has produced, this included. So this I put on after my serums, before I move on to moisturizer because the hyaluronic acid, from what I understand very limitedly, works with the moisture, with the molecules that moisturize water molecules and just increases the moisture in your skin, all those good things. So that's next. And then I go on to eye cream and I cycle between a good three or four this one I'm about, just about done with. This is from Tarte, it's their Maracuja C Brighter Eye Treatment. I've been using this for a really, I can't, can you see how much it's gone for a really long time? And I don't think I've ever talked about it. It's just one of those things I got sent in PR months ago. Oh my gosh, I have a Westie that is right at my feet snoring so loudly. If you can't hear that, I'll be in shock. <laughs> anyway, I love it. And it's just one of those things that I don't think I've ever disgust. Now I do, if I have leftover, sometimes I'll put it around my lines, around my nose and mouth or on the back of my hands. You don't need a lot. But what I love about this is I feel very moisturized, which obviously is important, but it doesn't make my concealer or mascara flake or crease or run, which can happen with some eye cream. So I really do like this. I do actually have a discount code from Tarte. They just randomly emailed me. I don't, I don't really know how that happened. So it's Marnie 15 if you get it from the Tarte website. Okay, I'm pretty moisturized, but we still need to do face moisturizer. And this is the one that I love for morning. It's the Colleen Rothschild Sheer Renewal Cream. It doesn't have an SPF, which I prefer because I want that as, my, as a separate step. This is far too much. So we'll put it on the back of our hands as well. I really should be doing everything that I do on my face. I really should be doing on my hands. I am noticing that these are aging faster than my face. I've also been not great about my neck. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. But what I love about this moisturizer is that it dries down to almost a powder-like finish. So it works really well under makeup, except I'm gonna put another layer over it. But it's great for all skin types. The friend who introduced me to this actually has oily skin. I have dry skin. We both love it. All right, we're almost done. One more moisturizer. This is... This has been talked about all over social media, like Instagram and TikTok, I believe. It's the Gold Bond Ultimate Neck and Chest Age Defense Cream, Broad Spectrum SPF 20. I have the nighttime version of this as well. And I have not been good about taking care of the skin on my neck and on my chest. 
And the next time I sign up for a round of laser treatment, I'm gonna make sure they include my neck and chest because I have lines, I sleep on my side, so I get the creases. I have the tech neck from looking down at books and screens and stuff, so I have not been good to this area of my body. And I will say this though, if you are consistent with using the Gold Bond Neck Cream for two weeks, you will see an immediate improvement. It's kind of amazing. And it's, it's from the drugstore. Like I got this at Walmart, it's unbelievable. All right, last step. Normally this takes me like three minutes, but I just love to run my mouth. So last step, we should all be doing this, sunscreen. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. And what I love about this is one, my skin does not react to it because a lot of sunscreens break me out. It also works super well under makeup. It feels like a makeup primer. It almost feels like the old school Smashbox primer. Make sure you get your earlobes, your eyelids. I don't really need to do my neck because I just put this one on there. Back to your hands. And that's it. Now I am ready to put on some makeup or not. I think today I'm just gonna stay fresh faced. I will change out of my pajamas, I promise. So that's it, that's the morning skincare as of right now, late October, 2022. Of course that could change depending on my needs, what my skin is doing, the weather, what shows up in PR that I feel like trying, you just never know. I am looking forward to doing a couple more of these. I'm gonna do my PM skincare in the next month or so, as well as a second video on the extras, masks, special treatments, that kind of stuff. Please let me know if you have any questions. I am happy to answer them. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.